The House of Representatives is asking President Muhammadu Buhari and authorities of the Nigerian Army to confer the posthumous rank of Brigadier General on Lieutenant Colonel Muhammad Abu Ali, who was killed in an attack by Boko Haram last week. This followed the consideration of a motion presented as a matter of urgent public importance by Representative Abu Samad Dasuki, who is also requesting that the national monument be named after the late officer. Nigerians are now united in grief in recognition of the heroic feat of the casualties. Among them, Lieutenant Colonel Muhammad Abu Ali. He was killed in action alongside six others, namely Sergeant Muazu Ibrahim, Sergeant Husseini Jafaru, Sergeant Basi Okon, Corporal Chuku, Simon, Abu Seaman Patrick Paul, and Private Salisu Lawa. Ali died as the commanding officer of the 272 Tax Force Tank Battalion of the Nigerian Army. As confirmed by the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukur Burutai, yesterday at the funeral at his oration, he said Ali and his men led the operations to liberate Munguno, Baga, New Marte, Bama, Goza, Banki Junction, Gambaru Ingala, Yale, Yantake, Bita Derua, Dera Kangarua, and Malamfatori. Though many have fallen in the ongoing war against terror, the stories of this young officer have been motivating, and from the testimonies of his colleagues and military, he was an exemplary figure in life as he is in death. Having paid the highest price payable in defense of one's nation, the question that has come to haunt us is a befitting way to immortalize such valor. The House also passed a resolution that the six slain soldiers who were killed alongside Ali be posthumously promoted to the next rank. Meanwhile, the House of Representatives Committee on Lake Chad is to organize an investigation into allegations of mismanagement and misappropriation in the Lake Chad Basin Commission. According to a motion which was considered by the lawmakers and sponsored by Representative Omos Ode Igminidion, the Commission is carrying out its functions in a way that is compromising the interests of Nigeria.